Hey guys, Buffy Gaming here, bringing you back another video. And today we're gonna cover the MG433. So what we're gonna be doing is turning the Kilo 141, also known as the HK433 in real life, into the MG443, which is gonna be the LMG variation of this weapon. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll build the weapon, test it in game, see the recoil pattern, and see how it performs in game against bots. So here you can see our final design. Let's strip this down. And we'll start from the base HK433 or the Kilo 141. First off, we're gonna go with the barrel and we're gonna bring it in line with the typical, like the M27 IAR barrel length for this is gonna be a 16.6. .6. So being that this is also an HK weapon, I think it's a safe assumption to say that the barrel length would be the 16.6 .6 for this LMG variation of the weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. That's also going to improve our damage at range, bullet velocity and our recoil control. So the benefit over the 19 inch, 19 inch we're gonna lose some mobility. So again, bringing it in line with the M27 IAR barrel length and we wanna keep some mobility with this. I think this is the better choice to go with the Syngard Arm 16 and a half SOCOM barrel. So we'll select that. The optic, again, this is more of a personal preference. Being an LMG, we do wanna get some range on this as well as be able to in engage at close range. So you can play with the the uh, four times flip hybrid here, which is the hollow flip sight. You can also do the VLK three times optic and uh, integral hybrid. So there's a lot of choices. For this one, I think we're gonna go with the Cronin C480 Pro optics. It's gonna give us that three and a half, 3.5 magnification, provides excellent target acquisition. So the zoom level and the only con here is the ADS speed. But um, as far as accuracy, this seems to be the be one of the better choices for optics for this weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. But again, that's personal preference. For stock, there's two options here. You can go with the base stock or the single arms sniper pro. So this is also uh, the heavy duty stock, adjustable cheek rest, keeps your aim steady and precision shots. So this depends on how you're planning on using this. But for right now, we're gonna skip it as well as the perks. We're gonna go straight to the ammunition. And for this particular build, there's actually two um, machine gun builds we can build for this. So for this one, the MG433, we're gonna go with a 100 round drum mag, because obviously this is a combination essentially of the HK416 and the G36 to build this weapon is what the 433 is. So it's gonna be, typically if we look at the MG variant of the, of the G36, it's gonna have the 100 round drum mag, the C mag. So then for the under barrel, obviously, um, for this particular build, we're gonna want a bipod. So when we cover the IAR variant of this, we're gonna do a different build. It's gonna look a little different and have some different attachments, but for the MG433 variant, we're gonna do the bipod to keep it aligned more so with the MG36. So there we go, we have four attachments so far. So this one kind of comes down to personal choice. Again, you can keep the base stock and go with a grip or even a muzzle or a laser or a perk if you want. For this one, I'm going to do the Single Arms Sniper Pro. This is just gonna help my aiming stability. Again, the only downside here is aim walking speed. So it's, luckily it's not hurting our ADS speed, which is good. So we'll go ahead and select that. This will keep us nice and steady on target. And then that is our final build. So this is the MG433. So this is the light machine gun variant of the HK433. So now let's go ahead and get it in game, see the recoil pattern, and see how it performs against bots. Okay, so here we are in game with our MG433. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down some fire here. We are running the bipod on us, so we're gonna wanna see the recoil pattern how it handles against doing standing, crouch, or prone. So if we can find a good wall, I think this is kind of, this one should be able to work for us here. We'll go against this one, get a decent distance. So first off, if I just fire, not controlling the recoil, standing. So you can see it kicks up into the left there. So now if we control it, standing. So we're able to keep it pretty okay there. Not too bad. If I crouch and control it. So crouching and controlling it actually seems to be kicking a lot versus standing. Let's change that mag out. 
So if you control it though, you can keep it okay. So now if we get in prone, where the bipod really comes in handy, it does help mitigate recoil and crouch, but more so prone. And let's see how it handles here. Here you don't really need to control the recoil at all. I'm not I'm not doing anything with it there. And you can see it didn't it, the muzzle climb was non-existent because we have that bipod on and we're in prone. So there's with our our prone shots, nice and tight. Um, the crotch is there as well. So let's test it at, also here's your recoil stand and it's gonna go up and to the left. So if we test it at a different range here, we'll go in prone. First off, let's reload quickly. Get some more ammo here. So let's let this rip. Crouch. So you can see they're pretty good. With the recoil, you're able to control it standing, crouching much better, and then prone, obviously, you're very, very tight here. You can see this is our our main prone shots were super tight. So that is the MG443. Now let's go ahead and see how this performs in game. Okay, so now that we're in game with this weapon, let's go ahead and see how the MG433 handles. So what we have here, obviously, is 100 round drum mag. We're gonna use it with the bipod. Um, we wanna use it more like we would a machine gun. So we can see I'm starting to come here. Start out in crouch. Control. Handles pretty good. Personal radar ready for deployment. Uh, uh. Right. So for those of you that aren't aware, we did do an HK433 carbine video the other day. So if you want to check that on the channel, we did go more in depth in the weapon in that video also. But for this weapon, obviously the HK443 is a brand new weapon. Um, just, just released to the public in, well, made pu made public in 2017. So this is in the running food to replace the G36 with the German military. Um, and it does come in many different barrel lengths and designs. So right now, the only planned versions for this are the assault rifle variant as well as the carbine variant. But since this is a combination of the M416 as well as the G36 mainly, it's safe to assume that we're going to get a probably an MG36 or variant of this being the MG433 as well as probably an IAR variant variation of this similar to the M27 IAR. So there's going to be two light support weapons variants of this weapon that we'll cover. We covered this in prone. See handles pretty well there. So here you don't even need to control the recoil, which is great when you're in prone. I noticed this mainly with this weapon as well as the RPK that we covered the other day. If you can get in a spot where you can be in prone or even um, mount this weapon, it's going to be very deadly. And especially with this 100 round C mag on here, you're able to put a lot of shots down range fast. So um, this obviously is developed by Agent K. The year are, as I said, it's a German German company, HK. It's an assault rifle and a carbine variant today, but we're just assuming that this is going to be an eventual variation. There's multiple different barrel lengths that this weapon comes in. So the barrel lengths that this comes in is an 11 inch, 12 inch, or excuse me, 12 and a half inch, 14 and a half, 16 and a half, 18.9 inch, as well as 19.8 inch. So uh, 16 point, point six. 19 inch and 19.8. So this is the 16.6 inch barrel that we're using to kind of bring it more in line with what the M27 IAR barrel is. Almost out. Which is a 16 and a half inch barrel for the M27 IAR. So this being a combo of G36 and M416, we're obviously just assuming that there's gonna be an MG variation as well as a light support weapon or an IAR variation. or infantry automatic rifle, God, excuse me. Um, so yes, infantry automatic rifle as well as MG, the MG variation of this. So this is the MG variation, the MG433. 
Um, so one of the things to note is with this weapon, it's, there's also different planned variants so far, which are obviously this being the the base HK 4.3, which 433, which is the Kilo 141. There's also the HK 231, which is the 762 by 51 millimeter NATO variation. There's also going to be a 300 blackout variant of this weapon. It's going to be called the HK 437. And oh boy, let's see if we can get darn. So the HK 437 is going to be the 300 blackout variation. There's also going to be a Soviet plan 762, or sorry, Russian plan 762 by 39 millimeter, which is going to be called the HK 123. So that's going to be for those the Russian 762 rounds versus the NATO rounds. And that's so far the only plan of weapons. The rate of fire on, on the AE base HK 433 is 700 rounds per minute with a 30 round detachable mag. So for this one, obviously, as I said, we're mirroring more so the MG 36. So we're gonna keep that 100 round drum or C mag for this with the bipod. And in another video, we'll do the IAR variation of this, which I actually think I prefer better. And it even works better for a running and gunning situation if you wanna be more mobile also. So there you go. Definitely want to use this prone, take advantage of that bipod. Even in uh, cross position, it's not too bad. But this is the MG433. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like this weapon? I know some of you have been asking for this one also. Um, unfortunately, we can't make the M27 IAR, which I know a lot of you, some of you were asking for me to do with this particular build. But since it is a different platform, really, it's a combination of the M416 as well as the G36, we can't really make an M27 IAR. Yeah, but hopefully in a future, um, two future attachments and maybe variations of weapons, they'll add into the game new weapons that we can do that with. But we will be making the 433 IAR though, so stay tuned for that. So let me know what you think of this one. Also, be sure to leave your recommendations for other weapons you want to see in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to be building those. Also, we have a huge list here that we still have to go through. There's plenty of weapons that we can still build in this game, which is just my favorite part of this game is building new weapons. So be sure to leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you're liking the channel and you're not subscribed yet, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and the videos. Definitely helps out smaller channels like myself. And we've, as I said, we've grown quite a bit. We're almost at 5K, so I do want to kind of do probably a special 5K um, either video or maybe giveaway or something like that. So stay tuned for that. I'll hopefully be announcing something here in a few days. And then also in the description below, I have the link to the Twitch page as well as... Um, Instagram and Twitter. So if you want to get a hold of me, that's probably the best place to do so. Um, definitely, I'm answering every comment that I can hear, but it may take me a day or two to get back to you because there is quite a lot of comments coming in. So if you want to get a hold of me quick, definitely going to be Twitter or Instagram. Just shoot me a message there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I think this is a very good build. Definitely, it handles well. You can even kit it out for faster mobility which we'll see with the IAR variant that we're going to cover here um, in a future video and I think that one I like even better than this but this is definitely a good build for I guess variation to convert to a LMG from an assault rifle for sure so let me know what your thoughts are below leave your recommendations like and subscribe and let me know also, do you think this is actually going to be a real version of this gun? So obviously this is kind of one of those question marks. This is, I think this is the first weapon variation we've covered that isn't a confirmed weapon, but I think it's almost certain that it is going to be if once this gets adopted in, into further circulation, because it's not really, it hasn't been an adopted by um, a nation yet. The HK-443 hasn't, 433 hasn't. So I think we're definitely going to see these two variants that we're going to cover here in the future. Check out the HK433C, which is the carbon variation video we did the other day. Also, that's going to be up. That's up on the channel there. And that that one I think is my favorite uh, carbine or even you know your compact rifle variation of anything we've done yet. I like it better than the SMGs also because it is firing those rifle rounds Less too. We're winning this fight. Hold them back. 
But that's going to do it for me. I am Buffner and Gaming. This is the HK433 conversion to the MG433. And you can see it does handle very well. So, until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.